Hi there guys, I'm out at the range today and I'm going to be doing a test of this vintage Imperial 22 to 50 ammo. This is 55 grain and I recently posted a uh, kind of a benchtop review and a teardown of this stuff. So I've got the Remington 700 here, 26 inch barrel. We're going to shoot it over the chronograph and we're going to see how it groups. So let's get at it. Let's have a look at the chronograph readings. The chronograph is about eight feet in front of the muzzle and this is out of a 26 inch barrel. Once again, this is a 55 grain bullet. There's our low velocity, 35.74. High, 36.53. For an average of 3614. Extreme spread of about 80. Standard deviation of 25. And this is the individual 10 shots. And it's a uh, moderately warm day today, probably about uh, 27 degrees Celsius thereabouts. And this was out of a coal barrel. Of course, by the time I was finished, it wasn't a coal barrel, but anyway. All right, I'm uh, home from the range, fired off some of this Imperial CIL Imperial 22-250 ammo. And I thought I'd show you a couple of the groups that I got. Here we have one from 100 yards, uh, 1.86 inches for the extreme spread. I believe those two are the, the furthest apart, although these two are similar in distance, so not all that great. Here's another one, which is actually slightly worse. It's uh, 2.14 inches because we've got this one way out. The remaining four are in uh, uh, 1.1 of an inch, and these groups were shot with a fairly clean barrel so can't blame the uh, the jacket fouling for screwing up the groups. Also I was doing some testing with hand loads on the same day and here's a five shot group with a 40 grain Hornady VMAX hand load 0.9 of an inch so I show you that by way of reference to compare with these uh, factory Imperial groups so I think we can see that uh, the quality of good quality bullets today is probably uh, head and shoulders above what it would have been 30 or 40 years ago. Much more consistent quality bullets and uh, we can all enjoy the uh, the benefits of those advances in technology. So anyway, a little bit of an interesting trip down memory lane to see what this old ammo would do and if nothing else I got to I got to see what uh, yesterday's ammo did in the accuracy department and I've got the cartridge cases to reload and the brass seems to be of reasonable quality so anyway thanks for uh, hanging around with me and we'll talk to you in the next video